This is Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about identifying even and odd functions, but doing it algebraically. My previous video, we talked about how to just look at a graph and tell, but for these, they've just given us an equation with no graph. Now one option, if you do have a graphing calculator, you can just plug this into the y equals and look at it, and we're actually going to use that to check our answers. I'm going to show you kind of how to do that to actually check what we do here. Sometimes you take tests and you don't have a graphing calculator, so you got to know how to do it algebraically. So. The, the way this works is if it is an even function, if you plug in negative x for x, okay, so whenever you see an x, you're going to put in negative x, you should end up with, once you simplify, the exact same thing you started with, okay, same signs, everything. And we'll see how that looks. Um, if it is not, when you plug in negative x and you simplify, you should get the exact opposite of what you started with, meaning your signs are flipped from how they were to begin with. And we'll see again that in action. Um, if you don't get the same and you also don't get opposite, that means it's neither. So we'll look at some of those as well. Okay, so let's just start with the first one. So this, remember, this is a function. This means f of x. It's just a fancy way of saying y x squared minus 8. So I'm going to plug in negative x and see what happens when I simplify. So I'm going to put in negative x squared minus 8. Now negative x squared, so that's negative x times negative x, and hope, hopefully you remember that a negative times a negative is a positive. Um, parentheses here are so important. Um, so this is actually going to end up being positive x squared, when you simplify that, minus 8. Now notice, once we simplified, compare that to what we started with. And you'll see they're the exact same, right? This one's positive, this one's positive. That one's negative, this one's negative. So because they're the same, this is even. Okay? Um, now, let's check that on the calculator, because we want to be sure. And I think I always find this is a great way to catch any possible mistakes that you've made. So the way I'm going to check this is I'm going to go to my y equals and I'm going to type in, this is y equals, so I'm going to type in x squared, x squared minus 8. And I'm going to graph it. Let's just look at it. Okay, now especially if you watched the last video on how to identify even and odd functions graphically, you'll remember that if it is mirrored across the y-axis, that means it's even. So that just confirms with me that I did do this right, okay, and, and with you as the viewer. So that's a great tool, so we'll use that each time just to double check our answers. Let's try this one. So remember, instead of x, we're going to plug in negative x and see what happens. All right, so 5 times negative x plus 7. All right, well, 5 times negative x is going to be negative 5x plus 7 comes down. Now let's compare that to what we had to start with. The 5 flip sign, the 7 did not. So this is not the same, and it's also not opposite. So even though this one is opposite, every single sign would have to be opposite. So this one's neither. And let's check it using our calculator just to be sure. So we go to our y equals. You'll see I had what I previously put in there. Clear that out. 5x plus 7. I'm just putting in what I originally had. And let's look. So I can tell... This is not mirrored across the y-axis because I would it would have to be perfectly the same on one side and the other, and it's not. It also, if I were to flip this upside down, which I'm actually going to do because I can easily do that with my calculator, notice how I have a wide space at the bottom and a little space up top. Well, if I were to flip this, now I've got wide space up top little space at the bottom. And if this was truly odd, 
it would be the exact same. It would be the same proportion. So this just confirms that this is neither and I can keep moving. All right, for the next one. So uh, I'm gonna plug in negative X every time I see an X. So I have to do it not only here, but here as well. Minus three times negative X and we're gonna simplify. Now negative X cubed, so that's negative X times negative X times negative x. And that one actually does leave me with negative x cubed. Now negative three times negative x, that's gonna leave me with a positive three x. So compare that to what we had at the beginning. And you'll see that the x flip sign and the negative 3x flip sign. So that means, remember if it was opposite, that means this is odd. Let's just confirm using the calculator. So we go to our y equals, clear out what was previously in there, x cubed minus 3x. Let's just see what it looks like. Okay, now notice I can't reflect it, so it's definitely not even, um, but notice here I got kind of a wide space on the bottom, kind of wide space up top, a little, little dip there. You definitely want to take note of those characteristics so that when you flip it and you compare, you see it's the exact same. Space there, space there, bump down bump up, it's the exact same. So that just confirms that this is, in fact, odd. Let's try this one. Now this one looks weird, right? Because it's got that fraction, but we still treat it the same way. We're gonna, instead of writing x, we're gonna write negative x to the fourth minus negative x. And then on the bottom, we're gonna put negative x to the fifth minus negative x, lots of negatives, okay? This one's kind of tricky. So negative x to the fourth, sometimes I think it helps to write it out because that's once you start getting above three, it's a lot of negatives to think about. It may help if you, if you actually write out negative x times, oop, negative x times negative x times negative x. Okay, and let's actually walk through that. Negative x times negative x, well that's positive x, right? x squared, excuse me, positive x squared. And then x squared times negative x, well that's gonna be negative x cubed. Negative x times negative x, well that's gonna be positive x to the fourth. Okay, so this reduces to positive x to the fourth. Another way of thinking about it is if this is an even number, this is gonna reduce to a positive. So you don't have to walk through this every time, but if that helps you, if it's positive, it's just, if it, excuse me, if it's even, it's gonna come out to the positive version. All right, and then negative times a negative, that's a negative one times a negative x, which would be a positive x. Let's reduce the bottom. So negative x to the fifth, we could write it out kind of like this, or we could just recognize that's an odd number. So this is gonna end up being a negative x to the fifth. It's gonna stay negative. And then negative one times negative x is positive x. Okay, now let's compare that to what we had to start with. All right, the x to the fourth was positive, it's still positive. This, this was a negative x. This is positive. So right here I can say, all right, well, we definitely are not the same and we definitely are not the exact opposites. This is neither. I could double check the bottom just to confirm, but you'll find the same thing. It's, they're not, they're not the same or opposites. And let me just confirm, let's see how this looks on the calculator. Now this looks a little weird. You may be thinking, how are we gonna put that in for y equals? We're gonna use our parentheses. So we would go to our y equals. We wanna do a parenthesis over everything up top and a parenthesis over everything in the bottom. So now I'm gonna input, we're gonna put this one totally in, x to the fourth 
minus x, close that parenthesis out, divided by, open another parenthesis, x to the fifth, minus x, close that parenthesis out, and let's look at it. Yeah, so if I look at the y, y axis, it's definitely not even, it's definitely not perfectly reflected or mirrored. And then if I were to flip this upside down, note those characteristics. So at the bottom, we got kind of a strip of space here and a smaller strip of space up here. If I were to flip it, now my strip of space is over on the right side, it was on the left. So looking at this, definitely not uh, odd or even, so it's going to be neither. So you guys try this one. Determine if it's going to be even, odd, or neither. Um, the answer you'll find in the description of this video. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.